episode of Broccoli Soup Cafe. I am very excited because today we have a special guest and he is a filmmaker, psychologist, entrepreneur, and Not co founder. A I just have a bachelor's in psychology and film. And co founder of Level 9 Productions and also my boyfriend. Welcome to the show, Neve. Neve Mercado, that's me. <laughs> okay, so it's uh, it's quite a uh, different uh, take on this since you're here and uh, it's going to get very personal probably. But I don't know what question she had asked. <laughs> I mean, she planned. Be ready, be ready. <laughs> now, hopefully it should be fun. So um, tell us a little bit about you and um, where your life is going, how things are doing and what your goals and aspirations are wow it's so hot i <laughs> literally forgot the question but i will try to answer what um so my name's neve mercado i'm is it weird to like say my age not really I'm 23 years old there you go guys we're very young. We're very young. I mean, at the spectrum of things, when we see this podcast, you know, when we're probably in our 34s or something, we're going to be like, what were we thinking? You know? No, it's going to be like, oh, we made a podcast? What? <laughs> something <laughs> like that. But, I mean, that's weird. No one really... Because I feel like when, when people ask those questions, it's like they're already ahead in their life and, like, they know exactly what they've done, but... I guess I'll tell you what I like in my hobbies. Well, um, yeah, it's more just for in the general, like, to know. like my my background. Yeah, where tell I came us from. a little bit about you. Tell them a little bit about uh, Lucy's boyfriend, what he does, what he's into, what he's passionate about. Well, I love Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, <laughs> other than um, me, interesting fact: I came from the philippines and i moved here when i was nine um yeah i like music a lot i i thought i thought i wrote some cool music back then with with my friend jacob who um Aww, jacob. He's, he's gonna he's gonna do some music for for this production company shout out to jacob here Woo. um <laughs> but yeah uh i i like sports even though i don't do sports i'm just i just like to be active in general um guys i think my boyfriend is being very shy right now i'm not shy i'm just <laughs> trying to like give a general <laughs> without being too like you know what i mean we don't want to run into like a a deep conversation about something like stupid like mm. you know right is it it's it's everything sometimes even stupid conversations can lead to like oh, very stupid. good i mean okay so i've been listening to a lot of podcasts because um my my way back to work is like two hours and i listen to a lot of stupid not stupid but like cleverly comedic personalities out there um hmm. uh, examples examples the Man, I'm going to butcher... The last podcast on the left, I'm probably butchering their name, but they're just these three guys who just talk about history and, um, in like, they're funny, the funniest way. They're not, they're not historians. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess, I think they're comedians? No idea. But they just, like, look at... They, they look up the topic for, like, a week, and then they, they come back, and then they're like, they're they're so like invested in the subject that they can't even wait to tell it's like oh man you guys you know but but yeah it's nothing stupid i'm not saying anything stupid but i'm just saying you know like uh we want to saturate the the podcast with something useful mm. yeah i mean all this podcast i really want what i really want it to be is sort of like conversations about what we can resolve probably in the world but also like the lives of people and how they go about the way they do things and why they do things so it's kind of like psychological but at the same time like i guess looking into the people's lives and seeing 
what they do, what, you know, why they do it. And uh, so we're going to look into your life, I guess. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty redundant there, guys. I apologize <laughs> about that. <laughs> Been, uh, it's been very hot this past few yeah. days, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I thought I was like, am I going crazy or am I hearing the same thing three times? <laughs> but um, oh, geez. what about this soup? Yeah, so today's soup is brought to you by my favorite person in the world as well, which is my mother. <laughs> and uh, today she made us uh, tomato soup because... Clearly, uh, we've been drinking too much broccoli soup. And, uh, uh, <laughs> that's a debate. Do you drink or eat soup? You drink. It's a. It's a. You eat soup. liquid. You don't eat soup. You sl okay? You slurp. You slurp. <laughs> you slurp soup. But you eat. <sighs> I think this is getting to that podcast that you said sounds stupid. <laughs> it's not stupid. It's it's important. <laughs> What is it though? It we eat soup because you drink. All right, I, I'm gonna make well, a rule right now. When you drink, you're not chewing, and any part of of the the food or the whatever you're gonna consume, you're not chewing, and that's drinking. Soup is eating because. There's ch chunks in soup that you have to eat. Mm. But what about if it's just creamy, you know? Well, it depends how <laughs> really creamy it is because, I mean, if it's ice cream, you're going to melt it in your mouth. I mean, but ice cream is not soup. But cheese. Cheese can get really creamy. <laughs> what? <laughs> but you eat cheese. Anyway, we eat, we're going to eat the soup. We're going to... Uh, eat the soup then yeah so um see so um we are um in this relationship and we are two completely different people i will say what do you say babe we're fine yeah we're two <laughs> completely different people <laughs> yeah right, I'll, wait, um, I'll wait till this it's not that hot actually now that i'm drinking it it's pretty eating mild. it <laughs> you're eating soup <laughs> i think it's, i i think my it's gonna bother me the whole time. you can't drink all right what do you what do you do with water you drink okay yeah do you drink with the spoon i can drink the soup okay you can, okay okay you can drink water with a spoon but that's retarded but Okay, that's fine. Right, let's, let's keep going. <laughs> Jesus Christ. On the conversation for next vlog. <laughs> drinking vlog versus eating. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. So on the side, I am a YouTuber and I do or used to do vlogs. But that is part of this conversation since, like I was saying, we are very two very different people. And um, I think it's time to talk about relationships. Yeah. Sure, but just talk into the mic. All right. Well, okay, so um, so we were texting, and um, and I said okay, right? Yeah. And uh, you were like okay, like uh, you call me and wanted okay. to find out if this was actually okay, right? And then I'm like, yeah, it's okay. So I think there's like this new modern thing, right? Where we're like, people are kind of displaying their like meanings through, I guess, texting and social media. But, you know, they don't do it in person often or calling. But we seem to gravitate more to that than to what people do now, which I is think you're referring to a lot of missing uh, information when you're communicating, because when when two people are talking, it's not just words that we interpret. We interpret the face 
because uh, a lot of a lot of um but can you also do that with let's say emo emoticons emo emoji no emoticons What's i think that? this is what it's called uh, I think it's something about communications I learned once in college, <laughs> which I we just really graduated like not so long ago. But um, it, I mean, it's it's basically like the emojis or like gifs or gifs. Not exactly because it. I think it's not the same from from what I from what I understand. There are s subconscious like cues that people are showing when they talk because it's it's more relevant when people lie they, they they look more uncomfortable that's how a lot of investigators could tell if they're lying or if the heart rate goes up and they're more anxious their hands get sweaty mm. and i think the emoticons was that is that what it's called it's a conscious kind of decision to pick that while when we're when someone is talking to you right in front of you, mm -hmm. there's a lot of like unconscious stuff that is also being presented, like eye contact. Mm. You know what I mean? Sure. Like if you're looking away all the time, um, like for me, I look away when I'm thinking, or when when I'm when the other person's talking to me, I look into their eyes. But uh, other people can interpret something like that. Like when you look away, you're yeah. Or when you're looking down, body like, body post or, like posture, or, like facial expression, how how broad your stance is, all of that kind of matters and you can't read that through text. That's why um that's why people assume. And when people assume I I have a pretty good idea what Lucy feels when she texts cuz the way she responds it's like it, there's like a pattern and it's like i know when it's like I'm broken off what <laughs> and then um well also the thing is i am very i guess distant in the relationship i i guess i'm more of um i don't I'm, i don't think distant okay. i think you are just um more of kind of keeping it to yourself like mm. letting it uh letting the the anxiety or the the emotion kind of dissolve into you and out like you hold it in until it goes away wow so. look at that psychology <laughs> took a class who cares <laughs> might, i might be wrong <laughs> no um but i i think it, there is some truth to that but i i still think i'm very uh, and i think that's why i say we're very different but it's it's sort of a good that we are different because it's kind of like a mix of both sort of the good and the bad and the ugly and the great yeah you know but and we're gonna take a break because i have to pee we'll be right back so goodbye Sorry. Hey everyone and welcome to Back. the continuation of this podcast. <laughs> Quick bathroom break because yep, that's what happens. When you drink too much water on a hot day. Exactly. <laughs> so we were talking about communication and uh, Okay. Yeah. She said her part. I'm gonna tell you my part. <laughs> what? <laughs> so this is like she was it was like, it's not that she said okay once. She said okay four times in a row. And she usually elaborates or has a, like a smiley face. I do like my smiley faces. See? Emojis. Yeah. But the thing <laughs> is, we, so. we had an argument previous, like, before about, about it. And then, you know. I think our, our conclusion was to not assume through text because that's okay. very, you know, things can escalate a lot when you assume. Yes. Um, very true. Yeah. I, especially when you're like had a bad day and, you know, you haven't seen the person or you really miss them a lot. It, it can get, you know, you can assume a lot, especially when they're not communicating. Mm. So 
it's it's a very hard th- step to do very hard but i think it's it's necessary because it's more of the the trust kind of thing yeah like if you if you trust them you know you shouldn't assume that crazy but people aren't perfect and even though i try my best to do it i will still assume a little bit not gonna <laughs> lie but i will try to... i think it's just human nature to do that isn't it i mean I, it is it is because in the end um we we try to optimize things as much as possible and uh mm. people have there's a thing called impact bias what is that and and um it's been a while but uh <laughs> it's when people assume the worst the worst case scenario because i i don't know i feel like that's a i do that a lot i feel i feel like it's a good survival method because you're ready mm. for the worst so instead of being uh surprised or shocked um or being very unprepared you're it's about i to me i think it's better to be overprepared than unprepared and i do that with a lot of things not just yeah i mean you wake up at 5 a.m in the morning yeah i mean i wake up 4 a.m i wake up at 4 30 make breakfast and then have enough time to sometimes i make my lunch i cook it he makes his lunch all the time yeah. every weekend every week I, I i make my lunch all, five lunches for for the week on sunday so i save money but um hey but guys. yeah so like when i'm on set so we're, we're both filmmakers and you know we we go on sets i tend to be overly prepared which production sometimes like <laughs> like thanks me it's like it's like whoa like there there's one time where um th- this guy was like you know he, he cut himself and oh, production geez. didn't have band-aids oh i remember this one you told me you weren't something. there okay well <laughs> no but i think you told me about and it then and then um you know he's looking for benny and i just happen to have one i carry first aid kit all the time but anyway where were we i mean medical a kit whatever it yeah. is called we should we all you should always be carrying it you know no matter where you are i think it's just a good thing to have and yeah save lives <laughs> but yeah it's it's the impact bias people tend to expect the worst but it's human nature like like you said mm-hmm. um yeah I, d- yeah I do that definitely a lot i mean um there are things that you know uh, like babe you, you know you will tell me and i like think of the worst and the best things possible uh but i think that's because uh, I, I don't know. I see everything as a film, sort of, in a way. And I think mm. that's how I started this podcast with the promo. You know, um, how I said things. You know, I always, I'm not too realistic. I look at things in, like, I think you told me once, like, segments or, like, little moments or kind of just, like, the moment. And then uh, once that... She thinks of the end goal. Like... The, and I the wanted, feeling of being at the top of the hill without thinking about how to get to the top of the hill. <laughs> but you, you're more realistic. I mean, you want this and you want to make sure that you have the steps necessary to get yeah. to that goal. Yeah. And I think that's good. I mean, I think that's a... Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like you said, like the, with the us being opposites, I don't think it's opposites. It's just we we fill each other what we lack so together we're we're better Aww. yeah Sorry. <laughs> I, i'm thinking of that it logically but cute. um what was i saying i mean it, it's very true uh, there are things that i mean or ways that i was for example i am i feel like i'm very independent and in doing my own stuff and i wouldn't let you like you know help me with certain things or like back you know like back away like this is my feel or whatever you know what i'm doing a lot i still do yeah i'm gonna have a me day (laughs) and i'm just at home (laughs) 
I mean, I don't mean it in a bad way. It's just, I That's think okay. there's times Ev- Everyone should have need. a me day. Yeah. And, um, and sometimes it's just like life is stressful. You know, no matter, I feel like n- uh, as much as you love a person or something, just You need to learn how to love yourself you- first as well. Mm, that's think, very important yeah i think that's very hard for me to do uh well i mean i do love myself i mean <laughs> wink but in a way i think it's people have a harder time loving themselves rather than loving other people because when you love other people you can interpret or you can only take in what good you see in them you know like in social a lot of people in social media mm-hmm. like um s- people that look up to people in social media think they're you know you know they care about them a lot it's like oh man i hope you're okay mm. but i think it's just that um that with the person with be the person the individual kind of we s- we s- deal with ourselves all the time and we know we're not perfect so when we see another person we kind of have the idea of of caring for them more cuz some people like have uh life insurance i mean health insurance for their dogs but not for themselves because they either think uh, oh yeah i'm you know i'm not gonna get hurt Mm -hmm. or you know some people think oh yeah you know i'm I'm not that important of a person in this world but i don't know i think everyone is you should you should treat yourself as though you're like the last person on earth or something like that. But obviously you need to care for others as well. But, you know, treat yourself first. Mm. But that I think that's uh, a thing of age as man, well. Like I feel like that's cultural too. Age and cultural? Yeah, because I, I, mm-hmm. there's a Western... The Western approach is very individualistic. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I come from Colombia and in there, like families everything yeah. you know more than like i don't know like i feel like sometimes more than the job and stuff you see a lot of people like they even have a lot of days off and i mean yeah they're partying and stuff because columbia likes to i guess party a lot they do they <laughs> yeah. love to dance too hey <laughs> but um it's very very centered around the family like what everybody's doing caring for each other making sure that you're sticking together and um and making sure that you're i guess guiding by like catholic ways of life you know making sure you do good and that you get married and that you have kids and um and all of this but coming into the united states i was like you gotta hustle yeah and you gotta hustle for yourself. Alone. Yeah, like yeah. you, it's 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 because you want it, and like, I mean, I don't know. I, I you can have family, but it's like, it's sort of hard to say it, but I guess it gets on the way when you're in the United States, and you don't want to feel that way or see it I that mean, way. I choose. mean, I don't want to see people it can that choose, way, but. but um, but I think it's more uh, family. Family, I think family is different because. Yeah, there's an individual way of seeing yourself with family, but I feel like family is always important. It, I think it in, in the Western culture, it's more of the individual, but I think there's f- family is important too, but I don't think as much as Eastern because mm. the Eastern cultures, they're very community-based. They care about the wellness of, like if they're going to do a job mm-hmm. or, you know, if if someone is to blame they'd rather have everyone blame except one person something like yeah. that i, I don't mean, know it's weird. no it's true there, there's a uh, there's pros and cons for for each side yeah i think it's it's um it's tougher to or i guess hard i don't know like hard to advance individually in like a family setting yeah um then it is like you know you yourself but then like 
then there's like this whole thing of like are you selfish or what why what's the end goal like why are you actually doing this you know? yeah um but i i think the family thing could benefit if if you and the other person or the uh, uh, person in your family are in the same field yeah but you that's know? very hard i that's mean very hard like my parents do it they're both nurses and um yeah that's they they i don't know how they work it out but they like having conversations after work um is good for them because the thing is a lot of people they especially for a full time the job they see they see their coworkers more than their family you know what i mean because when they get home they just sleep and then they yeah. go to work so the benefit of of my parents being in the same field is that they can talk about work related stuff because they work in the same field mm. so they can have a conversation about it but other people like you know like different professions when they come home uh you know most of their time is spent at work so they have stories at work you know and if it's work related you know it can be hard to talk to that person and make it entertaining yeah. you know what i mean like imagine i, I started talking to you about psychology i mean so I, I think we had this problem before but it was with film um sometimes you will be like i don't feel like i want to talk with you anymore about film related stuff because i feel like you get upset that i guess that i'm not doing it at, at the time um, oh yeah and i was like i, I don't know like it wasn't really that, but at the same time, I guess it was. Now thinking about it, before I was like, no, it's not that. Like, you know, I support you 100%, and, like, I want you to do good, you know. Um, but then there's, like, the thing of, like, being at that level as well. And it's harder when we're both in the same career and um, and we're not at that same level, which we still help each other. But I feel like it's, like, tougher to see it. Like, mm. like if I will see that you're struggling, like, man, I will feel bad. Like, I wouldn't want to talk to you about, like, all these things that maybe I'm happy that I'm doing, you know, if you're struggling. But you saw it more as a way of, like, encouraging, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. don't see it as the suffering kind of thing. I see it as more if if we talk about it, maybe you know our our motives can, because everyone has a different different path and a different duration to that path. Mm -hmm. And I I like to I, I like to be patient with what I'm doing because I want to be careful and methodical about it and make sure that my steps are the correct steps. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I'm not sense. just like sprinting to the end goal. I'm making sure that I, I will pace myself so I don't hurt myself. Does mm. that make sense? Hurt yourself. Yeah. Because <laughs> if you sprint, like, with all your might, like, you you might get you might get hurt. You know what I, I mean, mean? I, yeah. And I don't mind when I see other people, like, advance or, like, doing anything better. Because, you know, as oh, long as I we're... Oh, I don't mind it either. Because as think long as we're working on great. ourselves every day towards our goal even if it's like really small like just reading or like watching a movie like for us you know you want to be there at, at, in the industry we're i would think i think we're getting close yeah very close <laughs> uh it's, it's, yeah. Undis it's uh, undisclosed stuff I, no um I, I got into this like awesome great union uh production i'm in yeah. right now I'm not sure if when uh, we post this, it will be, I will still no be on idea. it. But uh, so far, it's crazy and yeah. awesome at the same time. Yeah. I'm learning so much and uh, and it kind of like puts your life like, whoa, what the heck? What is it that I want to do? Like, yeah. there's so much that I still need to learn. And I think that's also part of the filmmaking process. It's, it's about learning and stuff and getting your things together and being professional and making sure you know that you do the best that you do at your job and then see what other stuff it's going around uh yeah yeah so uh 
That that reminds me. Question: <laughs> When, sh at what age should you have your life together? <laughs> That's a very, it's a very hard thing to think about, because a lot of people are. That that question is decided usually with the people you're around. Hmm. How, how because, so? first of all, you have to. In that that can be interpreted many ways. What does to life together mean? Mm -hmm. And second of all, how much together is together? I think I think sometimes. I, I think something I learned from you is take it one step at a time, right? And I think when people ask that, they're asking it the wrong way. Because I feel like when you should have life together, there's different stages to that and, like, different periods of time. So when should you have your life together as a teenager? And when you should you have your life together mm -hmm. at 20s or 30s? And I think that's a better, like, a more positive way of looking at it rather than, like, the other way. I feel like it, it tends to start being, like, negative in a way. Um, I think it's boring. Mm. Getting your life together... Because once you, once you have your goal and have it together, now what? You know? Mm, true. But you're very much like that. I mean... I, I'm, I'm very... I think... We've got to take another break again. Guys, so what's happened with the breaks <laughs> is that we are on a time a limit. A 20-minute time limit for the camera. So uh, we are going to refill our water cool off a little bit and we'll be right back stay tuned All right. and we're back and we're back <laughs> where were we <laughs> all right so we were talking about like <clears throat> at what age uh you know you should have kind of your things I together I think it's and, uh, it's subjective. Like again, I think it's decided with your culture, who's around you, and you know what their expectation is for you or for yourself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I just dropped a little bit of tomato soup in my notebook. On your desk. notebook. On my notebook. See, guys, I don't talk very much, <laughs> very well English. <laughs> it's so hot. I keep forgetting what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. Let's just move over. <laughs> Great podcast. I just saw that at the corner of my eye. I'm like, <sighs> and it, I don't know. It <laughs> erased. It literally erased what I was talking about. <laughs> um, it's probably going to come back to me in like the, the most random way probably tonight and you'd be like oh man i wish i would have said that i don't talk like that <laughs> <laughs> that's just me guys okay i think very emotional oh okay and what i think we you're were, very like what we were talking about okay, if i remember i hope so mm -hmm. uh yeah it's subjective and i don't know because does that mean financially stable because i feel like that's that's the most common getting your sheesh together kind of thing mm. but that could also I mean, mean having a family having kids or education yeah or being looking healthy yeah i mean there's a lot to that i just feel like um we sort of i think it's like we're sort of um supposed to be having like a way into life where we look and this is the end goal this is what we gotta do and this is where we have to head to mm. and then oh i mean i don't agree with it i don't see it that way i think there i mean as much as i think of it that way because you know we did just said this before <laughs> as much as i think of it that way <laughs> paint's ball <laughs> it's so hot in this room and this t <laughs> the soup is so hot <laughs> the paint is peeling off the table they probably don't see it that far away <laughs> okay but <laughs> i don't know if you were like laughing at yourself or laughing that i just saw the paint peeling off no i laughed at the paint peeling <laughs> <Okay>. off 
I'm sorry, guys. Very um, technical difficulties here. <laughs> it's not technical. It's pain. Okay. Well, that's kind of technical. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. No, no. <laughs> this is what happens when he doesn't agree with me, but he doesn't want me to get mad at we him. We should have had so. got a napkin. <laughs> your babe. Uh. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not your... I'm not Pugsy. Okay. <laughs> Pugsley's my dog. What Shout she does Pugsley. is she okay, takes... Okay, no, please don't say this. <laughs> okay. All right, let's move <laughs> <laughs> Now everybody's going to want to find out what happens, what I do to Pugsley. I guess you got to tell them that. All no. right, just tell them. I'm not going to tell them. Oh, man. Okay, right, I'm going to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because you now you're so inconclusive. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what she does... When Pugsley, the pug, wakes up, you know, <laughs> dogs have eye boogers, right? And she, like, takes it off his eye. And I guess one day when she was a kid, <laughs> should I go back that far? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so <laughs> she feeds the eye booger to Pugsley. And he loves it. <laughs> I think. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. People are going to probably think I'm really we can't, gross. We can't laugh too hard because I'm sweating <laughs> really hard right now. It's so hot. I'm so sorry, guys. This, okay. And we're drinking soup. So. <laughs> Don't give me that face. <laughs> it's just see we're very different but we still it's not different <laughs> there's there's eating soup guys comment that's like down saying below. flat earth and then <laughs> round earth is <laughs> two different things no one is wrong i think you we should Honestly, have the audience decide. i don't know i Vote i might below. be wrong because you can drink soup <laughs> Great. Now you Okay, <laughs> what's what's next? Um so this soup is so good. Thanks, mom. But um <laughs> <laughs> So the I'm trying to raise this and every time I raise it I'm peeling off the paint, guys. We're holding. We're holding. Why is uh, there a dead flower? I just realized that. It's the power of love. <laughs> we're talking about relationships. There has to be flowers. But they were already cut, so I grabbed them instead of killing more flowers and going cutting off. Going and cutting off more flowers and killing them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, guys. I'm just going to take this soup right now. What do you mean? You're the host. You got to <laughs> ask me something. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be like uh two second break <laughs> all right so <laughs> this, this this podcast is about um relationships I thought Relation. you were gonna, <laughs> I thought you were gonna say an ad this podcast is brought to you by <laughs> tomato soup all right from the greatest tomatoes of the world I don't know actually your mom's not a tomato <laughs> even though <laughs> Okay, well, let's get back to the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I had to drink water. I'm sorry. This is so hot. All right. So, um, yeah, I wanted to make it about relationships or stuff because it's uh, we're in a relationship. I might as well talk about how that is and how that works out, you know. And uh, mm -hmm. But we seem to be getting very off track every so often. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fine though because um that's what life is you know facts yeah uh, you you're going one way and all of a sudden it changes and becomes something else and so i think you have to be ready for that and that means that also expectations as well as in life are in a relationship so i, I have a lot of i guess trouble sometimes because I see myself in other places and it's hard to 
sort of know if the the person I love will want to be in the same place that I want to be on, you know. And it's not uh, because I'm saying he doesn't love me or I don't love him. It's just more of uh, of like, am I forcing this person to have this sort of dream because he loves me and you know like and and I get sometimes like scared about that because you know they're in in relationships um you expect you know the person to be with you and um you know kind of have some sort of the same end goals as you but sometimes like life is so short you know uh like one second we're here and then that's we we could be dead or we could be up in this uh great um you know job that we got hired for or sometimes uh we just have to end up traveling at a certain point because it just happened that we were able to get the money or something like that or sometimes we end up really sick and uh or we lose a loved one or everything so yeah there's a lot of changes in life and i think i am very good with changes <laughs> since there's a lot of things that happen in my life but um Sometimes I get very scared that my end goals, I'm sort of enforcing or forcing them onto a relationship and 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 into this relationship. And so how do you feel about that? Like, or how do you deal with that? Like, because sometimes I feel like it's it's sort of in a way controlling, you know, and but is that what relationships is like? what is a relationship what is loving someone what is you know i mean w yeah what is a relationship because loving someone is something else different and yeah i think a relationship a really healthy one is always a compromise but i think it's uh, all about compromise because no matter how much two people love each other there are always going to be two different interests it could be the smallest things but you know that's you know if if you really love the other person mm. you're gonna you know their interest kind of kind of molds into your interests and it becomes not a compromise anymore and of course there there are some compromises that have to be done i'm not saying this is me but like you know there's something super super simple like you know after you pee you gotta put the toilet seat down and stuff you know what i mean like that, you know, it, in a nutshell, I think it's more of like uh, knowing that, you know, you, you love this person. So you're, you're willing to compromise because uh, the bigger picture is you want to be with them rather than, you know, leaving the toilet seat up. And <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's, you know. that's true. Um, there is a lot of compromise in relationships if you want to. Um, if if it's a good relationship, yeah, like what you were yeah. saying, if it's a good relationship, there is a lot because you can't. There's no there. there's no such thing as a perfect relationship, mm -hmm. and someone would someone who usually says that is someone who's looking from the outside in. That's not part of the relationship. Like you could say, oh, who are the two best lovers in the world? Like historically, or or even in in books, oh, you know, Romeo and Juliet. You mm -hmm. know, but really look at their the way they they loved and through their life it's like not the you know like once you're I mean, in that I feel relationship like it wasn't it's real not as well like the whole Romeo yeah and Juliet thing? it's it's very I mean, different of course i mean it's debatable hmm, is it real is it i don't think it was but it's for from from an outsider from a third person not not third person that's weird from like an outsider it's like you know someone could see maybe like someone like us like you know we're perfect mm -hmm. but you know it's like i said it's about compromises and yeah we we have yeah. i mean mostly with me i'm the i'm the problematic one no, here. <laughs> no such thing um yeah but i think it's um like sometimes uh, there's there's harder things i mean the toilet thing and the seat it's it's all right you know it, th there's you can compromise with that 
but things sometimes that I feel like you can't really ooh, like if for example I one of my goals was to graduate college and go away and live for a year to Colombia you know to go back and live in Colombia and because of other reasons you know I couldn't do that and um, but I also thought of you you know like where was this all going to be if you if I left you know and you were very like straightforward you're like you know I love you and I want the best for you but if you do live leave this this is not gonna work out you know then um, and then that's like whoa like what? you know cuz well, once you're in it you know it's like oh man so you know once you like feel the connection and feel the love it's like mm, you know like was is that goal really real like is it what I want to do and where I want to move forward and stuff so um, it's it's definitely it's about compromise but eh, I have a <laughs> I have a hard I'm time very, sometimes dealing I have with very that. high tolerance with babe yeah and I'm okay with it I'm I pretty I'm pretty crazy you guys very much <laughs> oh you you love me very much or I'm crazy very much she cray cray she cray no Bro. I love her I love her very much mm. yeah no I, I tend to be uh, very radical at times and I think it's just because there's so much I want in you and um and I think it's good that in a way you're here like to ground me sometimes there's like so many things that I want to do and like I experience here and there and I learn so much from you as well and I mean I'm learning like a lot from you as well mm -hmm. but uh but it's definitely nice to like have that person that's able to sort of ground you in some way uh if you're like this like person that just wants to go everywhere and jump jump off um but at the same time even though i have those feelings and those um and i guess those ways of thinking i'm still very much uh not reaching out for them yet <laughs> that's okay all right that's part of the love we gotta group. take another break hey so this is our last break we'll come back and uh we'll be in the vlog we'll see how it goes the podcast this the is podcast. not a vlog <laughs> and you drink water not soup <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cheating. <laughs> and so. we're not counting that either. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> okay. So, you okay? Yeah. Did you hear that? <laughs> you almost choked and died. And yeah, we're dying for you guys. It. Yeah, we're, we're literally dying here. And we're drinking a lot of water because we're, we're, uh, we're dying of, what is that? Heat exhaustion? Yes. No. Oh. I'm. Not, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's that, but it like really is is a natural like. Uh, I feel like really a jellyfish. <laughs> that's been out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a good description. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Good. Yeah, that was pretty clever. Thank hmm, you. Thank so you. magic filmmakers. They say everything. Yep. It's a jellyfish <laughs> kind of day today. What? <laughs> so, I mean, besides the relationship and um and I guess like life stuff. I think I think this is what the this podcast will end up being just about a relationship, about relationship and about life, you know, like like yeah. I said before, how we behave just and stuff. The person and the relationship. Yeah. Because that that is two different things. Yeah. So, um, sometimes I wait a lot for things to kind of happen. I feel like every time you say sometimes, 
You're doing the intro of the pod uh, of the podcast. <laughs> Sometimes. Or most of the or time. <laughs> <laughs> I think I live in dreams. Yeah, because yeah. you literally <laughs> you're saying the same thing right now. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I do love my promo. What what do you guys think? What do you? I don't think? know. I can't hear them. <laughs> Oh. Think you're coming down oh. below. Hey. Well, if it's a podcast, then if it's on SoundCloud. They can comment down below still. Oh, okay, cool. Look at that. Look at that. All you right. got everything. What apps? Okay. Well, we'll be in that everywhere around the your world. <laughs> your kids. Whoa. <laughs> Do you remember? Hide that? your kids. <laughs> Hide, Hide your, your wife. Oh, I thought it was neighbor. Damn. All right, it's been a long Hide time. Hide your neighbor? <laughs> Why are you with your neighbor? I don't know. Oh, I love my neighbor so much. <laughs> well, I mean... I gotta like, hide him. <laughs> I feel like that will happen in Colombia. Like, sometimes I, when I oh, travel Oh, it'll there, happen in the Philippines, too. Like, your neighbors are so close. <laughs> yeah. Either you're hiding them to protect them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Or you're hiding them because it's kidnap. Oh, my God. It's really bad. It's bad everywhere. Yeah, that's very true. It's um, it's unfortunate. There's a lot of bad things going on, but I think it, it goes into what I wanted to say, wow, which is really? I don't that's awesome. <laughs> which is what I think um, that you shouldn't wait for things, you know. Mm. Um, and I think it, at at this point right now in life in the world is where we are right now. There's a lot of people that stop waiting for things to happen. And uh, and they're kind of just. They get too comfortable. Mm, yes and no, I guess. I mean, there is a lot of people that they don't feel comfortable, but they just can't do the things they want to do or want to talk about. <coughs> I mean, for example, look at like the controversy over like <coughs> sexual harassment in the film industry, you know, and how that's just coming out, you know, so, so recently now. Yeah. Like, I mean, it did came before probably, but all of a sudden, you know. Yeah. It like like the wildfire. <laughs> made it possible. Yeah, it's a great tool. It's good. I mean, I mean, the internet can be bad and good, but this was a really good thing. Yeah, I, and, and honestly, I think it's been good all throughout uh, of what's been happening with, like, political things lately, with the whole immigration process, uh, with the Trump administration. I don't want to say names. You said the biggest name of names. Anyway, <laughs> what's the topic? <laughs> <laughs> so, um... But, I mean, sometimes, <laughs> most of the time, <laughs> here we go back to my promo. Um, but I think it's like, um, well, I wanted to say kind of, it's more, not a topic, but more of like, I wanted to know if, um, if there's times or if you think that you, sh you shouldn't just go all the way for things sometimes you know what do you um mean? like so you, so we're like okay don't wait for things to happen right yeah but sometimes there is <laughs> this thing where you are it's not pr prudent 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 p r yeah. U D E N T. How do you say that? Prudent. Yeah. But to be honest, I don't know that word. <laughs> I'm right. Be <Are> serious. <laughs> I've heard of it before. Can we get a dictionary here? Production. <laughs> okay. Yeah, which is me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but okay. So, <clears throat> so for example, right? I work at this job, which I don't like. Who knows? By the time you're watching this, I am probably not at this job. Who knows? But <laughs> it's weird for your coworkers. <laughs> <laughs> they 
probably know it. I mean, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. I mean, no, the job has been great. It has given me great opportunities, you know, and ways of paying through my college career and you know helping out my parents and stuff, and and it's amazing. But it's not what I want to do, you know. It's not my and one of my end goals. It's and it's hard, like. It's exhausting for the mind more than just physically because yeah. I'm sitting all day. Yeah, but um, but I mean, so so you said one time, you know, like if you don't like this, you know, if you're not enjoying it, then you know why not quit? Why not do it now? And and I'm like, well, there's this other stuff, you know, like all these other things that. Could affect, you know, if I take that decision or that route, or you know, like there's like things I have to watch out before I, you know, commit to it. Yeah. Do that. But is there like a thing where it is that wrong, or is there where it shouldn't, you know, like it shouldn't matter? Um, I don't think it's wrong. I mean. As long as you're doing, so, so, so here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> some I've I've heard the saying where do what you want to do, but work. If man, I'm I'm saying this poorly, mm. but like there's there's hobby and work. And those could be two different things. The closer those two are together, that's the goal. Hobby, hobby, and work to be close together. Mm. But I think of it more as hobby every time. I can't, I can't think of things as work. Like okay. for example, earlier in this podcast, yeah, uh, that we started, I told you guys about, you know, sort of. Not really. About uh, how I am in this production uh, in a new union gig, and um, and and I mean, I I have to be professional. You know, there's no way or ends about it. You know, you have to be professional in a setting like that because one mess up and you know it it could be really bad. Boom uh, goes the dynamite. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Sorry, is <laughs> the that internet American? knows. Oh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> okay. I oh guess. God, I wanted to do that ever since the podcast started. Okay. Okay. <laughs> tell me down in the comments if you we'll just. I'll just tell you <laughs> this <laughs> way. I'll just, I'll just help you look it up later. Jeez. Um. But uh, what? I wanted to sort of, I guess, I guess my, uh, this whole conversation is going okay. back to. Um, uh, I think it's fine. As long as you're doing little things to improve yourself every day away from the job and giving yourself the maximum opportunities or, mm. or you're, you're being progressive about, about it instead of being uh, tolerant about it. Cause if you know, Very like, true. you know, like like I told you, just like keep applying, mm-hmm. or like you know do stuff like you know like what we're doing right now, and like these small yeah. projects, and because, I mean there, uh, you know there are other people in the world that will do the job just because you know they need to, mm. you know, Very but true. they keep doing it because they have a bigger picture in their head, which is family, mm. you know. Like, I feel like those people are very underrated because they, they take the hit of, of the work life even though they don't enjoy it. But the, their their big picture is their family. And, like, it's it's so much embedded in their thinking that, you know, they work. They, they will bite their, their cheek for their family. Mm. Um, yeah. But for someone young, I think you should definitely, I mean, if, you know, I feel like, like you need a job and you need the money but you know c- keep doing this if you if you need the money but also be progressive about it hmm. like you know keep applying Very or true. like s- do something that is possible to make money from that you will not hate yourself for 
Because mm. I think it's not that you hate your job. It's that people uh, hate themselves that they have to tolerate this job. Mm, wow. Very that just came out of the blue. On the nail. <laughs> Man, the heat stroke's really getting me think. <laughs> that didn't even make sense either. Oh, uh, well. It's not a heat stroke. <laughs> I said heat stroke like <laughs> not having a heat stroke. Not yet. Anyway. Okay, please don't have a heat stroke. We don't have insurance right now, currently. We're working on that, guys. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, I mean, so that was one thing I wanted to talk about, but I I seem to kind of I guess agree with you in very and and I think most of the time I agree with Neve a lot, and I don't I don't agree with myself a lot, <laughs> and I don't think it's because I'm wrong. I just think the way he like sees life sometimes makes me feel like i was saying grounded in certain ways and like makes me realize certain stuff i i didn't see before was not realizing that at the beginning so i think that's very good yeah for the filmmakers out there Ooh, i'd yeah. rather have her on a dolly than on a movie or a steady cam Just saying aesthetically if you're in a dolly you're grounded center of gravity it's totally different it's like pet peeve because some people are like, oh, we need this uh, dolly shot. And some guy, some other person's like, oh, let's just get a movie. And it's two different feelings because oh, yeah. uh, the dollies, if it's grounded on the floor, it's going to feel different. Where the the steady cam or whatever that is, it's a steady cam. I know what it is. I'm just <laughs> stupid right now. You feel but floaty. He- but it's besides the point. Sorry. No, it's okay. I I love hearing him talk sometimes about film. Sometimes I understand. Sometimes I understand nothing. <laughs> That's okay. That's but I'm why I'm learning. here to explain. I'm learning. Yeah, I'm I'm actually a radio TV film student, but titles don't matter. It's all that's all a construct, and you can do whatever you want, right? And yes. whatever you please, because if you have a goal and you want to do it, you're gonna do it. Be no as what. weird as possible too. I mean, uh, I don't know. Be I mean, not not think, in a way where you're like breaking the law and hurting another people, mm-hmm. another person, <laughs> another people. But you know, <laughs> don't be afraid to express yourself in a way that you're but happy about see, it. Oh my god, I have such problem with that. Like, of I used to be like, oh my god, yeah, be weird, be be your own self. But then I feel like. Well, oh, unless man, if you're I'm super get really weird, bad. But like, uh, like hundred percent. <laughs> you're yeah, keeping 100%. it hundred <laughs> percent. But I feel like in it three tends- minutes, you gotta explain <laughs> in three minutes. <laughs> I feel like it gets to be this thing that it's now popular. You know, like oh, be weird. Like you know, and and like. It's more about being yourself, you know, and stuff rather than being weird. It's the same thing. No, it's not. It's not. I think it's the same no, thing. No, because, because then you're putting a title or like a kind of like a construct to what you are. Like, it's mm, not weird it's to the be opposite. you. Well, okay, if you use, a vo- if you use that vocabulary. Then, because like, yeah. why, if I'm expressing myself, why does that mean that that's why I have to be weird, you know? Weird in a sense that don't follow other people just because they, they're doing like what I'm going to get this wrong. Robert Frost said, you know, take the path less traveled mm. because it's not I'm using weird in a, in a context of like be be who you are and be as different as people because, yeah, that might sound like idealistic. But if you if you think about it logically you're building yourself a brand brand of yourself and that's something that if you put yourself on a brand that's something no one can take away from because it's you you know like the lead singer of super trump they they took him away super trump was never the same but when he did his solo acts he was super trump 
What are you referring to? <laughs> I think I need to. It's either Super Tramp or Super Trump. I'm really stupid right now. <laughs> but that's one of my favorite bands. Hmm. It's probably Super Tramp. Things you never know. But if yeah. it's your favorite, how come you don't know the name? I just read it. <laughs> nice. I read the name. Good job. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Well, this was fun. This was interesting. Um, lots of things to talk about and lots of uh, laughs. Lots of improvement. Yeah, definitely. Um, it'll get better for sure. It's getting there. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, this podcast. And I hope you guys enjoy listening to me and myself and I. Uh, you can they can definitely hear me and so um we will catch you guys on the next episode and hopefully i think we should do this more often i think it'd be good like me you, yeah you should be more in here yeah yeah what thank, do you guys think thank you <laughs> no and i yeah. think it, it definitely brings out a lot of conversations important ones that i feel like we need you know to just yeah. discuss it's you, up to you me myself I and us <laughs> but at the same time for you guys out there you know um, I think it's good for people to be able to know what's uh, what we're thinking and maybe you guys are thinking the same thing and can grab something out of this or can just laugh at us mostly laugh at us <laughs> but until next time we'll see you thank you for watching have a good one